the left frontal lobe, okay, that's F-R-O-N-T-A-L, the left parietal lobe, P-A-R-I-E-T-A-L, the left temporal lobe, that's T-E-M-P-O-R-A-L, the left occipital lobe, which is O-C-C-I-P-I-T-A-L, and the cerebellum, which is C-E-R-E-B-E-L-L-U-M, and the brainstem, B-R-A-I-N-S-T-E-M. The brain is an incredible collection of lobes, okay, ventricles and systems, all working together to enable you to function. Use this interactive feature to explore some of the major areas of the brain. Okay, so the frontal lobe, we'll click on that, and you'll notice that the picture changed, and you've got uh, the right and the left. So why is the right on the left side? Well, it's because we're facing the person. Okay, so the right side is over here, and the left side is over here. Okay, it says the frontal lobes of the cerebral cortex lie under the forehead. They control planning, reasoning, movement, and some aspects of speech. Here's the largest, uh, here in the largest of the cerebrum's four lobes, most purposeful behaviors begin. The frontal lobes are well connected with the seat of emotion and the limbic system. Now let's look at the parietal lobes. The parietal lobe at the top of the head receives data from the skin, so neurons, nerve cells, that process touch and sensation information, including heat, cold, pressure, pain, and the position of the body in space. Sensory processing communicates closely with the primary motor area, which lies just forward of the parietal lobe and controls voluntary action. The temporal lobe lies at the sides of the head, above the ears. They perform several functions, including hearing, speech perception, and some kinds of memory. The auditory center, part of the temporal cortex, about the size of a poker chip, processes nerve impulses from the ears. In about 90% of right-handed people and 70% of left-handed people, the centers for spoken language lies in the left temporal lobe. Now let's talk about the occipital lobe. The occipital lobe lies in the back of the head, just above the cerebellum. It processes and interprets sensory information from the eyes. Because the occipital lobe controls sight, it is often called the visual cortex. These are good definitions, good vocabulary words. Damage to the occipital lobe can cause blindness, even if the rest of the visual system is normal. All right, next let's talk about the cerebellum. It's between the brainstem and the rear of the cerebrum lies the cerebellum. The area of the brain that controls posture, balance, and coordination. While voluntary motion is managed in the motor cortex, the cerebellum takes over many learned physical skills. Its action explains why riding a bicycle or driving a car takes effort at first but becomes automatic with practice. That information is stored in the cerebellum. Next, let's talk about the brainstem. It sometimes is called the reptilian brain. Is the brainstem is the oldest and most basic brain region. It controls the essential survival functions, such as breathing and heartbeat. It manages sleeping and walking, digestion, body temperature, and elimination of wastes. It maintains life without conscious thought or higher level brain action. The brainstem is buried deep inside. You notice that? You can't see all of the brainstem. Look at that. It goes way up inside there. So the rest of the brain is all around the brainstem. So now that you have that information that you would have found on this website, you can look at some of these other things in the upper right. Even if this 3D brain did not load, you can still click on things like the baby brain. And you can read about babies' brains and how they're developing, the child's brain, and the differences, or the aging brain. A lot of elderly people have issues with their brains, okay? So we're learning about the brain and all of the many complexities and things about it. And you can use this information here to look through and read more about it.